welcome dear students to the standard 6 subject mathematics chapter 2 angles module 1 i am miss komal narute students before beginning with this module let's see the learning objectives of this module in today's module we will be learning about angles introduction types of angles and we will see questions related to it so let's get started so students do you know what is an angle so here in this picture you can see an uh, angle so in geometry an angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point so here you can see two rays meeting at a common end point that we call as angle students an angle is represented by the symbol so here you can see the symbol of an angle here the angle below is angle a o b so this is an a symbol of an a angle here in this picture you can see angle can also be represented by three letters of the shape that defines the angle with the middle letter being where the angle actually is its vertex let's see example angle abc where b is the given angle students now we will see parts of an angle there are mainly two main parts of an angle first is arms and second one is vertex let's study this in details so students first we will see arms so here in this picture you can see the two rays joining to form an angle are called arms of an angle so here you can see the two rays so two rays joining to form an angle are called the arms of an angle here you can say oa and ob are the arms of the angle aob so here you can see the arms of angle aob now we will see what is vertex so the common end point of two or more rays or line segments that we call as vertex so here you can see common point of two rays that we call as vertex or common point of two line segment that we call as vertex so here a is the vertex students do you know we can find angles in the various things around us such as a 
pair of a scissor a hockey stick a chair etc students now we will see types of angle so here you can see first one is acute angle an angle less than 90 degree that angle we call as an acute angle so here you can see the picture of acute angle so here angle fed is an acute angle so an angle is less than 90 degree that angle we call as acute angle next is obtuse angle an angle greater than 90 degree that we call as obtuse angle so the angle form in the figure is obtuse angle an angle greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle so here angle CBA is an obtuse angle. Next angle is right angle. An angle equal to ninety degree that we call as right angle. So the angle form in the figure is right. angle an angle of 90 degree is called right angle so angle qop is an a right angle next one is straight angle an angle which is exactly 180 degree that we call as straight angle so here in this picture you can see this is an a straight angle a straight angle measure 180 degree next angle is reflex angle an angle greater than 180 degree that we call as reflex angle so here in this picture you can see reflex angle this angle is greater than 180 degree such as an angle is called a reflex angle a reflex angle is greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree next angle is complete angle to complete one round and come back to its original position as in the figure it turn through 180 degree till it made a straight angle at 180 degree after making the straight angle thus completing 360 in all an angle made in this way is called full or complete angle the measure of a complete angle is 360 degree students now we will see zero angle an angle measure 0 degree is called 
a zero angle. Here, when two arms of an angle lie on each other, zero degree is formed. So here in this picture, you can see two arms of an angle lie on each other. That we call as zero angle. Students, now we will discuss practice set 2. Question number 1 is match the following. So, here we have to match the following. Here, measure of angle given and here types of angle is given. So, first one is 180 degree, 240 degree, 360 degree and 0 degree and here types of angle given a1 is 0 angle b is straight angle c is reflex angle and d1 is complete angle so let's see solution for this so the answer will be here 180 degree angle means straight angle second one is 240 degree that is reflex angle third one is 360 degree that is complete angle and fourth one is zero degree that is zero angle so here you can see the measure of the angle and this all are the types of angle question number two the measure of some angles are given below write the types of each angle so here we have given measure of some angles we have to write the types of each angle so let's see first one First one is 75 degree. So, 75 degree is an acute angle. Second one is 0 degree. So, 0 degree is a 0 angle. Third one is 215 degree. So, 215 degree is a reflex angle. Fourth one is 360 degree. So, 360 degree is a complete angle. Fifth one is 180 degree. So, this is a straight angle. Sixth one is 120 degree. So, this is an obtuse angle. Seventh one is 148 degree. So, 148 degrees and a obtuse angle. Eighth one is 90 degree. So, 90 degree means right angle. So, like this you will write the types of angle. Students, now we will see. Question number three. Question number three is complete the following table. So here you can see this table. Here in this table we have to write names of the angles, vertex of the angle and arms of the angle. So here three angles are given. So let's see how we will write the names of the angle and vertex of the angle and arms of the angle. Students, in this table, you can see three different angles are given. First, we have to find out names of the angle, then vertex of the angle, 
then we have to find out the arms of the angle so let's do that so first angle is angle p y r or we can say that angle r y p now we will find out the vertex of the angle so students you already know the meaning of the vertex so the common end point of two or more rays or line segments that we call as vertex the common end point of two or more rays or line segment that we call as vertex of the angle so here vertex is y so here you can see y is the vertex now we will find out the arms of the angle so here two rays joining to form an angle are called arms of the angle two rays joining to form an angle are called arms of an angle so here you can see arms yp and yr are the arms of an angle yp and yr are the arms of an angle now second one here you can see angle lmn or nml are the names of the angle now we will find the vertex so here you can see m is the vertex of the angle here m is the vertex now we will find the arms of the angle so here arms you can see m n m n and m n are the arms of the angle now third one is so here you can see the names of the angle angle b o s or angle s o b are the names of the angle now we will find the vertex of the angle so here you can see the vertex that is o so here o is the vertex of the angle so now we have to find the arm so arms of the angles are o b o b and o s are the arms of the angle so here ob and os are the arms of the angle so like this you will complete this table students here we completed with practice set 2 thank you dear students